sometimes people like when we're working on data together, they'll say, well, how many of this or how many responses do we have of that? And this usually the response most people have and myself included is let's just go do some pivot tables because pivot tables are easy, right? So yeah, I get it. I get it. But you must know this feature in Power Query. If you don't know it already, you're welcome. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is get to Power Query. So I'm going to go right click and choose edit on my queries and connections. Okay. Now I've already done a cleaning routine on this data, right? So if you don't know anything about Power Query, um, I'm going to be training it soon. So you can come watch that. You can also check out Oz SLA. He trains it. If you got a LinkedIn learning account, you can check it out there. Anyway, it's worth every second you put in it. Um, anyway, so I'm in Power Query for those of you who use Power Query already. And I get teased because I'm in love with this particular command. All right, let me get to this question. Um, somebody's at, somebody's emailed me and asked me, uh, how many responses do we have on how easy or difficult do you find it to separate yourself from your current work environment, which is a remote worker question we asked in 2019, uh, which is, you know, interesting now. So let's see. All right, here it is right here. <clears throat> so people want to know, like, generally, like, what's, what's the response? How many people have responded this, that, or the other? Um, so I'm going to go to my view, and I'm going to go to column profile. And again, I get made fun of for loving this, but, like, it tells me a lot of information. One, it tells me how many I'm working with, how many are empty for the value distribution. And this is where I totally geek out. Okay. So look, I can hover over it and it will tell me like equals does not equal to be able to filter by this. Right. But it gives me that 77 people said that, which is about 35% of the total results. So phenomenal. But here's the moment of truth. So I'm going to go um, click up here on the top right of this, choose copy. I'm going to go to my little Word document. I'm going to paste it in. What? What? Okay. It's just in case you missed that. Okay. So, let's see. In 2019, we said, let's, let's find this. Let's find this. Oh, yeah. We asked how often. Do you have meetings that are not face to face? So I double clicked up here, which is kind of terrible because I'm going to go get that. I could mess up on my column headings if I'm not careful. So in 2019, we said, how often do you have meetings that are not face to face? And the answer of that is here. Ah! Yeah, I'm totally addicted. So, okay. Uh, this is a win for the world. So uh, again, I'm in Power Query. Learn everything you can about it as part of Excel and Power BI. And then Column Profile. Don't get so fascinated by the Column Profile that you miss these three dots. Remember, when you see dots in Microsoft products, it typically means there's more than what you can currently see. All right. Good luck.